Live Lounge. It's so good to be with you. We're really happy that you're joining us here either live on the show or when we recorded it and it's up on YouTube. Thank you for being with us. We really appreciate it. So I'm Caroline Crawford. And I'm Paul Crawford. And we are so looking forward to sharing with you some thoughts, maybe some little insights, some little ideas on allowing the fullness of your soul to blossom. Yes, and also embracing your multidimensional being, mm. which is at the core of every single one of us. Yes, mm. yeah. So before we carry on, I'd just like to say, please remember, if you're watching on YouTube, share this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you leave a comment down below, that really helps it get out more as well. We'd really appreciate yeah, that, definitely wouldn't we? Would do. Yeah. yeah. So on with the show, as they mm -hmm. say. So allowing the fullness of your soul to blossom. So I think first and foremost, for me, I think it's good to be reminded that we are all manifestations of the divine and that ultimately at our core, we are divine beings that hold so much light within us that has that ability to uh, overcome, to transcend and transform any suffering and any darkness that we that we can sit that we have mm. we just have to live from that true nature piece by piece rather like um, a jigsaw puzzle mm. applying our consciousness to the solutions and not dwell on anything that you know too much on the problem and i <laughs> i've been practicing i love doing new things i've been practicing my latest thing is a daily practice of a continuum of consciousness which Ooh. means yeah mm. just being aware of my thoughts and making it fun so just regularly checking in you know are these thoughts centered in my true self in my soul or not mm. I, I'm getting there I'm getting there but be by being more conscious and present and aware I feel then you know we're more energized we're more empowered mm. we have a more positive and optimistic outlook and a and a lovely feeling of kind of lightness about my thoughts, definitely less tense or worried. And I think establishing this daily routine is, you know, of your spiritual work and your yourself is so supportive, um, especially when there are fast moving or conflicting energies swirling around. And I've just realized what we forgot to <laughs> mention was, Later in the show, Jerama will be sharing with us some wisdom and insights and I will be putting some questions to him. Yeah, and also Caroline will be doing the Planetary Energetic Update, which is channeled from the Federation of Light, which she channels that earlier on in the day. Yeah, so that will be later. But mm. when we try and reconnect to our soul, we can feel a sense of restoring peace, of that power, of that love within us. And we can allow ourselves then to kind of flourish from that ancient wisdom that we hold deep in our soul. You know, it's deep within, in our hearts. And there is a change now that really is becoming more into being from this old patriarchal system mm -hmm. coming into the more feminine, both. And this feminine is both in men and women. It isn't just in the women. We all have those energies of yin and yang, light and dark, male and female. But the feminine, I feel, is a is like a, a chalice, if you like, of gentle, creative, receptive, and yet power that we hold deep within us. Yeah. And when we're still, we we can tune in and harness and allow those whispers of our soul that ancient wisdom that is always wanting to guide us to become a stronger part of us as we allow ourselves to be gentle to be more open to be more receptive and to mm. to really encourage a deep 
inner listening to ourselves. Yeah, and I think it is so true. Um, I mean, when you think back to how things used to be, um, and a lot of that was because we were conditioned to, to that's how things should be. Um, and now things are very different. Things are totally different. And this is why that, that more feminine energy is coming in about this greater openness, this greater love, this greater acceptance and kindness. Mm. And when you think back to your, how your work environment used to be and how that's changed now, mm. how home life used to be and how that's changed, all those condition, all those previous conditioning are now being let go of so that we can expand into our, our true selves, our true mm. being, that that multi-dimensional aspect of, of who we are mm. and to really blossom into that greater energy mm. and doing that with that, that openness and that kindness and gentleness. Mm. I think it is really important. Yeah. Um, but it, it is though, I mean, I think back to the building industry, the construction industry, how that has Oh, it, it, it's you're like a million miles away well, from, go there, from where it used to be. What old thought that just triggered? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, so things are changing, things yeah. are improving, but it's about what we can do in opening ourselves up and connecting more mm. strongly to that inner soul wisdom. Yeah, and remember that light, that energy of our soul is light, and this light that we've mentioned on many previous shows, you know that is really showering now through the universe into the planet to help our evolution that light is also coming through our soul and heart and it is coded with wisdom mm -hmm. um, to help us really flourish and and thrive in that energy of our soul and it i think paul has said as well you know it's so much about not just being receptive and open but trusting you know, trust in that gentler energy. And when we do, it actually is a really nice feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we're we not to be governed and bullied into being who we are. We've we've got to allow that divine within us to, to flourish and to guide us because we are always being guided by our soul once we get the old things out the way and be that receptive energy, that feminine energy that we are mm -hmm. um, but as I said I think living trying to make a daily practice you know set a foundation for in being more purposeful for listening more intently more deeply for gen and to really enjoy time with yourself mm -hmm. because the most powerful act that any one of us can do is to believe in yourself to believe in your light, to believe in your divinity, your sacredness, 100%. And respect that sovereignty and respect that sovereignty of others. You know, we're all individual mm -hmm. souls. We're all on our own pathway. And our power comes from that accepting that diversity of who and what we are. This is how we are birthing these new seeds, these new pathways into this life to make this world the better world it can be through our thoughts, through our energy, by being purposeful and intentional and encouraging these, these higher thoughts, these higher ideals of ourselves into our daily life. And I just wanted to say, don't assume that somebody else is going to do that somebody else will take care of that become the conscious divine being that you are open to that love and that direction from your soul because this inevitably then allows more joy more happiness more satisfaction we feel a greater sense of fulfillment and those energies then gain and grow and gain in momentum mm. and we become much more receptive to that intuitive energy yeah and i think you touched on trust mm. and trust is such an important aspect of of our growth mm. on on every single level and everything that we do because when we can learn to trust more and that begins with ourselves that allows us to to open up more 
and it is almost like giving us that greater permission to become and step in to our expanded self, step into that expanded soul wisdom that is a natural part of us because we're all from that divine source of mm. creation. Mm. And uh, Albert Einstein said, um, and I've written this down just so that uh, I don't for forget it, <laughs> is the ideals that have lighted my way and time after time have given me new courage to face life cheerfully have been kindness, have been beauty and truth. Mm. And I think even just saying those words of, of kindness, beauty and truth, it kind of resonates into almost like an acceptance. And I begin to like, I, I start to trust more and then that begins me to, to become more connected and more centered. Mm. Okay, so hopefully that's given you some, some food for thought. Mm. Um, and Caroline is now going to update us with the uh, planetary energetics <laughs> um, to what's, uh, what we're going through and what's coming up ahead. Yeah. So again, you know, I, I, I pre-do these energetics because I sit and I get the channeling through from the Federation of Light and then I obviously I write it down because it comes through quite quickly. I think it's so my mind can't get in the way. So, um, and I actually said this time, didn't it? I read it out to Paul and I said, well, I can't change, that's it. So, so April through May, as we are moving through the year, there is an increase in faster moving energies that is having and bringing a multitude of actions. These actions or the impact the energies are having are very much dependent on where each one of us is in our own individual evolution and understanding. As your consciousness is in many ways adapting at this time to the influx of these higher vibrational forces or this energy of this faster moving energy and you may at times feel or have felt overwhelmed by a lot of things occurring concurrently. I've had a few clients mm. and friends say that to me, oh God, even feeling as though your life is spinning like a wheel. And you can't wait to just slow down, retreat. Or you may have been feeling some frustration or some anger or even feel helpless to know what to do with all this faster moving energy that sometimes makes you feel a bit unstable and uncertain. And what they said is now is the time to become or to realise your inner light, your inner guidance and wisdom to really embrace your true nature in these changing and transformative times. Your higher consciousness is always waiting and eager to engage with you. Time to remember who you truly are, a spirit in a body, having a human experience to enable your light, your inner knowledge to rise to the fore and be your saving mm -hmm. grace. <laughs> I also said, believe it or not, your, it is your choice to be here on the earth at this time. It was not some random act. Uh, you knew and wanted to be a part of the great rising of truth that is now in full swing. I think we're all quite aware of that. Um, take time to respect your choices by listening deeply and more consciously to your inner voice at this time and conversing with your soul. That will be most advantageous to you as the intensity of the higher frequency energies flow. So taking that time to take a step back, to go within and converse with your inner self, that soul that we were talking about that is always there. Uh, remember that these energies are being called from a greater number of humanity and are directed by higher cosmic beings as best can be. But your soul's consciousness is highly receptive and open 
to receiving the energies as well as being alive to the infinite possibilities and growth, freedom and transformation they offer us. So remain open. Each individual has an important role to play as you are co-creating the new earth through your thoughts, your choices, your visions and intentions. So make time to value yourself. Build that trust from within, within your heart and your soul and keep heading for greater unity with all that you are. So always remember that how profoundly loved you are by your ancestors, your relations, your spirit family and the greatest love you can have is that love for yourself, for who, who you are. Nothing empowers you more. So that was the energetics update and forecast. I can feel drama coming through, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy and hope you enjoy his words of wisdom and that energy too. <laughs> Hello my friends. Hello. There are many that may be asking, what is your multi-dimensional being, your multi-dimensional mm. self? And we would just like to say that, firstly, it is best to connect to the answer through entering into the stillness. But what we would like you to do is to liken your existence in this physical being, this physical body that you are currently inhabiting. It is only a small aspect of your spirit consciousness that resides within and around this physical existence of you. Think in terms of operating a hand puppet. One of those puppets that you put your hand into and you use that. You're not putting your whole body into the puppet. It's just a small aspect of it. But because everything is connected that greater part of you has an influence in what takes place within that puppet and what it does. And the same is for you within this physical existence. Just a small aspect of your conscious non-physical being existence is part and parcel of your physical life here on earth. And because of your abilities to go beyond this 3D world of time and matter and existence, you actually allow yourself to exist in many ways, in many forms. That consciousness can exist in other elements of life at the same time as you are inhabiting in this earth plane. It is a bit like you having many thoughts at the same time. You have that ability within your mind, within your awareness, within your consciousness. So it is the same for your existence. You exist on many levels. You exist in many elements. There's an aspect of you that exists within the stars. There's an aspect of you that exists within other universes. Mm -hmm. There's an aspect of yourself that just exists. And sometimes this is a, a harder concept to, to grasp because you are often so used to thinking of things in such a structured way. <laughs> you are thinking of things in such a physical environment. And this is why you often ask for explanations or you endeavor to put into finite terms 
that which is infinite. And this is why we say, let go and go beyond trying to gain an understanding of putting it into words that is more limiting and allow yourself just to experience who you are, the truth of your being by entering into that stillness, by intentionally connecting to the truth of who you are by becoming more centered and you will find that in allowing yourself to do this not only will you gain a much more deep felt understanding of the truth of you but it will also create even a greater openness with you an openness that leads on to a deeper understanding which leads on to further growth, which leads on to a greater expansion, which leads on to a further openness and a further learning and a further understanding of things. But each time that you are expanding, you are allowing yourself to go beyond the limiting thoughts of explaining something in a finite way. You begin to trust more in your emotions, in how you are feeling, in the thoughts you are having and the understanding that you are gaining from those thoughts because they are allowing the wisdom of your soul to come through and play a stronger part in this physical existence. And that is what that wisdom is there for. It's to assist you, it's to help guide you. And the more that you can intentionally allow yourself to be more open and to connect to that element of yourself, that truth of yourself, the more that you will find you begin to create change. Change within yourself and therefore change externally allow yourself the freedom to be your truest self to blossom into who you could be into who you can be and we believe who you will be we fully believe in your existence and your abilities. We fully believe and trust that you will take those strides forward to achieve all that it is that you wish to achieve. But allow yourself to do so with a greater sense of love, a greater connection to love. And that will quite naturally come through you once you connect to yourself because your true existence is one of love. We are very much aware that we say this all the time because it is true. <laughs> and it is at the core of every aspect of life. Love is the truth of creation. Therefore, it is the truth of who you are. Trust in that and allow yourself to blossom into the fullness of who you truly can become. We trust in you. So why not trust in yourselves? Goodbye for now, my friends. Be at peace. Be at one. And allow yourself to shine in every breath that you take. Goodbye. Thank you.
so much. Oh, I feel such a strength in just beautiful energy when they come through. It's so nice. So thank you again. Thank you, Paul. Mm. 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 Great. So I'd like to share with you as well. I know I spoke earlier about trying to have a foundation, a daily spiritual practice. I'm just going to share with you one of the affirmations that I often use um, and I find it really helps. It's quite easy. So the affirmation is, I choose to live my life with complete freedom and ease from the oneness, love and truth of my true nature. And so it is. Mm. So like you can perhaps try that yourselves mm. if you like. I choose to live my life with complete freedom and ease from the oneness, love and truth of my true nature and so it is mm. so i think it's good to remember before we go that everything that's happening now on the earth and in our lives is ultimately to help us be stronger to dig deeper to have that spiritual quest to really mm. live from our souls mm. and allow that soul to blossom yeah and the fact that you know we are all capable of doing that mm every single one of us mm. but it journey starts with us yeah mm. so thank you so much for joining mm. us we hope you found some little things that have helped you at these these times yeah. which could be mm. exciting uh, next month we come in on may, may the 18th, 18th. Mm -hmm. and we won't be here we are actually moving so um It'll be new and exciting for us. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know absolutely. where we're going yet, but yeah. we soon will. Yeah, we're trusting. <laughs> yes, we are. So um, remember to please like and share the video if you're watching on YouTube. Leave a comment. Thank you so much. We so appreciate you spending your time mm. with us. We always thoroughly enjoy it and um, we hope mm. you do too. So, so from mm. myself... And Caroline, from me, we say bye, bye for, for now. now. <laughs> Take care, lots of love, be true to yourself. And remember, keep shining your own unique divine light. Mm -hmm.